We have our Fox Carolina Brooklyn Cromer in Greenville talking with those of you who have lost so much already. I'm on Arlington Avenue right beside Bon Secours St. Francis Hospital just outside downtown Greenville and one neighbor here tells me it looks like the apocalypse and you can see the disaster all around me. Several massive trees falling on the street, blocking the roadway. One of those trees crushing this truck and another neighbor who lives in the home next door says her car was also destroyed when a tree smashed into it. Neighbors here are starting to clean up, bringing out their chainsaws, trying to clear the trees from their property and from the road. In the last few days has been, I've seen community spirit here on my street that I've never experienced before. Folks that I just haven't had a chance to run into because everyone lives such busy lives. But after that first storm on Tuesday, everybody came outside and I made some new friends and a lot of camaraderie and everybody's just pitching in to help each other. You know, we're sharing generators so we can use our sump pumps and keep our basements dry. and. You know, just giving our neighbors what we can. And you can see trees are also down on several power lines. Some of those lines are still dangling from the poles and others are entangled in the branches and the tree limbs. Just like many people in Greenville, this street is also without power. Duke Energy is sending 5,000 workers to the upstate to help get it back on. As crews work to clear trees, reopen roads and restore outages, the city of Greenville asking people to be patient and know that it will take some time as crews work as quickly and safely as they can to get things back on. Reporting in Greenville County, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.